and greetings. Welcome to video number five in the series of Servio Media Stream Server. On this video, I'll show how you set up your HD Home Run, or actually, for that case, how you install a plugin on your Servio server. So let's go ahead and jump right in here. So here is the Windows 10 machine. The first thing we're gonna do is the following. We're gonna go ahead and open let me lock that. We're going to open our browser. We're going to actually going to go to Servio. Servio.org. Okay, so once we're on, on site, we're, we're going to actually click on Forum. And we're actually going to find here where it says Available Plugins. Click on that, and I want to see it's like the tenth thing down, uh, HD Home Run, right here. So we're gonna go ahead and click on that, and we're gonna go ahead and click uh, on version four. See where right here where it says version three, V three, and this one says V four. Um, we're actually gonna go to V four, so we're gonna click on that. Okay, so that's going to go ahead and download. Let me. And it's a tiny file. So now it's already downloaded. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click on the file server. I mean the file server, excuse me. The file explorer. And I'm going to go ahead and click on downloads. And let me actually click, make this a little bit bigger. So here's the file itself, is HD Home Run Groovy. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to edit this file. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to use, um, or I like using uh, No++. That's what I normally use under Windows. And you're going to find two spots. The first one is right here, where it says Final Valid Feed URL Equals. So here where it says HTTP, where you actually have the question mark right here, you're gonna enter the, your IP. I'm gonna enter mine, which is 199.168.71.99. That's my actual um, HD home run. The next thing I'm gonna do is at, at the very bottom, well, almost to the very bottom, you're gonna find an existing IP. Um, I was skipping this part and for whatever reason it wouldn't work. Um, it, it doesn't hurt to put it on there. So I figured, you know, why not? So here, um, all I do is just type in the IP address. So again, 199.168.71.99. According to the developer, this last line is just for testing that he was doing. Um, it doesn't hurt to change the IP anyway. So that's why I went ahead and changed it. So once you get that, you can go ahead and click on save and close it okay so file exit okay so now everything's closed now once that's ready we're going to go ahead and, and copy this so i'm going to copy this this file i'm going to go to my c drive i'm using a 64-bit um servio so i'm going to go here to my program file servio and let me put this up so i can actually write and where it says right here, plugins. So we'll click on plugins and I'm just gonna paste it. Okay, so now here's the file that's edited. The next thing I'm gonna do is go here to my Servio server, or the console, and I'm gonna go to status. Right here to status. Okay. And then towards the bottom, you're going to find where you can actually start and stop the services. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to stop it. I'm going to, I normally just let it set for a few seconds and then start it back up. Okay, now it's running. Now the actual plugin, it's ready to go. Oh, excuse me. One, one last thing we're going to do. We're actually going to go back to our Servio. And now we have to actually link the library. So let me max this, maximize this. So here's this maximized. And we're going to go under library, 
and online sources. Okay, and then here, um, you know what is is too big since it's I'll make this a little bit smaller. But once you're here, let me just make this a little bit. Oops. Yeah, there you go. There. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and click on Add. Okay. And under Source Type, we're gonna go ahead and select Web Resource. Click on that. Select what's what type of of media is gonna be. So you're gonna select Video. Under Source, um, he, here's my uh, Notepad. For favorites, for TV favorites, this would be it right here. So it's going to be HTTP forward slash your IP address forward slash lineup dot JSON question mark favorite. So I'm going to copy that. Well, actually, I'll copy it so you can see it. Copy. And all I'm going to do is just paste it here. Okay. Under the name, what what I've been oops under the name all I've been doing is just putting what it is so favorite I'm just gonna copy that and that would be under name under thumbnail uh, I don't put anything and I'm just gonna go ahead and click okay okay so now you can see it right here I'm gonna do, do one add and I'm gonna put two more Again, web resource video. Okay, then I'm gonna go back to my notes. Here's my string. So it's gonna be HTTP, the IP address, forward slash lineup. I'm gonna copy that. Paste that, and then I'm just gonna give it the name. right here under the display name and that's just a descriptive name it could be anything you want um, then you're just gonna click on OK and you can see now it's added and I'm gonna add one more again source would be web source and this is it right here so the web source now is gonna be the HTML eight, uh, the lineup but for HTML this is what worked for me and it does take, last time it took about 30 minutes the very first time for it to populate, but once it populated, the TV started populating. So, and I'll show you. Uh, so I'm gonna do resource, there it is. And then I'm under display name, TV lineup, I'm gonna copy that. Paste it there, and then okay this. So now I have a total of three, right? I'm going to go ahead and just click on save. And now that's already saved. What I'm going to do next is again go to status, go to the very bottom, stop my service, let it set for just a little bit, and then turn it back on. So now this piece is actually done. Let me go ahead and, and zoom out. Okay. Now I could actually close this out, I could minimize that, and now what I'm going to do is switch to a uh, web browser. So here's my on my local computer. Okay, so I'm opening my Firefox. So here's the camera. Let me just make it a little bit bigger. Um, there it is. So here's um, the camera. You can actually see my hand right here. That's coming. Basically, I'm pushing it out out of my cell phone. So what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to switch this over. This is an actual uh, Roku uh, TV. Oh, you know what? Let me see if I can straighten up the, the video a little bit. Okay, there we go. So it looks a little bit straighter. So I'm actually going to go to uh, right here, Roku. Roku Media Player. So once you're in Roku Media Player, you can go to Videos. And you'll notice that the second one here is a Servio. So you're going to click on Servio. And you're going to go to Videos. If you notice, it's the same like the other Roku uh, that you would normally have. You would click under Folders. And you notice there's nothing there yet. 
So we're going to come back to this. It takes roughly, um, the other day I noticed it take, took around 30 minutes. Um, let me actually power this down and see once it comes okay, up. So it's been about an hour. Um, I kept on checking it and it wasn't there yet. But let's check it now. Uh, so let's go there. And we're going to go here to Roku Media Center. So we're going to go here. Okay. Go there. And go to video. We're going to select Servio. And we're going to go to video. And now you can actually see uh, favorites, channels, and lineup. Now these get populated, so it did definitely give it a give it a give it about an hour because um, it does take a while. So if I go to channels, go there, it's 200, 226 channels, and so I'm gonna go to I don't know something that True TV. So on True TV, we're gonna go ahead now. You do have to let it buffer. It takes, um, I would say, around fifteen to twenty seconds to buffer, and there it is. So you can actually see the the True TV actually kicking in. Um, now let let's go ahead and double and check another one. So let me check um, Discovery. Or no, the Cartoon Network, why not? It's something that doesn't have issues or whatever with copyrights. Maybe A and E, how about, how about that? So click on play. Now granted, I can actually do this locally onto, um, directly connect to my HD home run. The problem would be when I'm off site, then it wouldn't work. So here's a, this was A and E. Um, you could actually see it up and running. Um, yeah, all that good jazz. Subscribe, thumbs up, and hopefully you liked the video. Thanks a lot.